Welcome to the Creative Land Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. You want the and and technically, yeah, sure. these are like purple black. There's like Ooh, like, like, yeah, let me have those. I just gave Dale my. <laughs> Alphabet, <laughs> car. <laughs> By the way, it did not hit me that um, the Sonic Universe or University. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It did not hit me that literally that is from Lovecraft. Yeah, that's the sorority. Yeah, well, oh, the sorority like, <laughs> well, this was a one shot. I don't get too deep in one shots. <laughs> but but now, you're still kind of deep. But now it has to apparently be a thing. <laughs> sort of like the game East Texas uh, East Texas University. It's basically a Buffy in Texas, so y'all are yeah. playing a bunch of Texan college kids. But there's like yeah. a Slayer on the team, so you just yeah. get ridiculous, like, how the hell did she just take everyone on the team down? It's ridiculous. Jimmy took Big Joe down. He can't say anything, but he can lift a truck. That's not fair. That's his one job. It's his drink and the pickup heavy. Yes. <laughs> two jobs. yes. No, no, it's he just one job because he failed at arithmetic. Yes. <laughs> uh, you have one job. To I have drink. one job. Now <laughs> yeah, you do, buddy. Now you do. Now listen, there's three types of people in this world. Those who can count and those who can't. <laughs> that was terrible. You should be ashamed. And Meanwhile, Big Joe's like, exactly! <laughs> Flips the table just because he can. Just, the table goes out the window. <laughs> Somebody, like a teacher's car is just on fire now because the table's like, hit it. Like, I hate this campus. Still blames Animal House for it, too. Which, in, I guess, in the Miskatonic universe, is literally just half animal people. Like, a bunch of jackals and hyenas. Like, what? It's not us! <laughs> We're just laughing at your car. It wasn't us, though. So, who's uh, doing what? I know that I kind of got KO'd. I was like, yeah! (laughs) Yep. So, everybody's going to refresh at three, right? Yes, Mm -hmm. refresh at three. She loves the sound of these chips. Very satisfying. It really is. Ah! And then every ever tell (laughs) you. Make it right. Make it hail. <laughs> so go ahead and take a quick second and introduce your characters to each other so you remember who everybody is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ichabod Sun Eater. Real name is Light Swallow, but, you know, a uh, six foot tall, lanky, sheltered noble kid, child of an old one and a cultist. Not an important old one, but <clears throat> kind of. Like, he, he's, he's hey, pretty. There is no such thing as an unimportant uh, old one. Yeah, who he's... is the nanny? Yes. <laughs> yes, technically. And the nanny is sleeping. Yes. Yep. Uh, this is legitimately, like, his dad is pretty much like like Ned Flanders meets the Yellow King. He's just like, come on, son, we can do it. You can flay them better. Here, I'll show you. Here, use my flaying knife. Dad, stop. Like, I'm just, he's done with that. And his mom's just super bright and cheerful. Like, she's she's like, like a hippie cultist. She's like, yay for the old ones. He's like, mom, stop, please. <laughs> Like oh, if you bring us love and joy. Exactly, like and he just hated that. But he because he was sheltered, he got into the school because obviously. Uh he has uh reality is kinda gone for him. He practices black ish magic and yeah. likes to make occult ish things to black-ish. make uh, like a quick buck and a couple laughs. He's like pen and infinite knowledge. Just ask it a question, he'll write out the answer. Language varies upon pen. So, really hope you don't need to speak, like, something other than old Latin, old, like, dead Latin or ancient one language or 
you know, uh, Spanish. What was that one that they said? <laughs> Mesopotamia. Do you know that one? Yeah, <laughs> Mesopotamia, right? You've yeah. been there. Yeah, it's kind of a Sanskrit? <laughs> it's just like, uh, a yes. good ch- like, there's a good chance that if someone's in detention, it's usually him for something or other. And he's either made really good friends or really bad enemies because of his sales. And right. he's desperately trying to get into alphabetic high. But being... Hmm? Henceforth, why you're in detention with this group. Yes. <laughs> Oh, those are pretty good. Right? That's why his first answer was like, I, I didn't do it unless you like can prove it. Yeah. But then they started to chip off. Like his so, favorite, his, fa- his current favorite item is the, is the flask of Jesus. You put water in and wine comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you know what they, see, water. Yeah, water. <laughs> oh, that's water. I think that's water. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, his aspects are ever creative chaos mage. And the spell goes horribly wrong. And he's also a devil in business suit. He's all about, let's make a deal. Let's do business. Come on. I'm a business major. This is what I do. <laughs> My devil has a forked tongue and a forty th- and a four thousand dollar Armani Armani suit. We can do this. Come on. Trust me. Is a phrase that should never be attuned to him. Like <laughs> it, it is always in quotations. But that is that is Ichabod Sun Eater. Okay, I am Lu- Lupe Maldonado. She is a changeling with the devil's luck. <laughs> and also not to be left unsupervised, because she'll come home with things. Or press <laughs> big red shiny buttons. Yes. Um, uh, yes. She's a pre-vet making, and she's she's the mom friend. So she's always got something in the back. Oh, here's sweetie, here's here's some water. Oh, you cut yourself? Here's a first aid kit. Oh, there's 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 a satanic ritual going on. Here here's some things to stop this, you know, kind of thing. Or to help it. Oh, those candles are really low. But there's some tefillin. Bring home some chicken leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> there there is a far side comic where it shows a bunch of old wild, uh, you know, old cowboys in the wild west, and they're all at the hanging tree. And there's the guy there tied up. And they're all going around nervous, and there's one lady there going, Oh, for heaven's sake, I brought some rope. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't quite be her. That wouldn't quite be know, her. She'd be like, No, let's not hit, you know. So, like, when she does see the monster, she's she's not, she doesn't run away screaming. She's kind of like, Oh, look at the poor thing. Is it her? Kind of thing, usually. It looks mm-hmm. hungry for us. Run. <laughs> So, yeah, she has to be supervised. Even though she's the mom friend, she's also the one who has to be supervised. She's the mom friend. The drunk mom friend. Well, not drunk. <laughs> she's, yeah. She she goes, she like, all the drunk girls at the party, she's giving them water and giving them food. Oh, sweet. Like, we lost her drinking. immediately. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, as soon as we got in here, I started mother hitting every drunk girl in here. So... <laughs> Wiping off some Trump, like the first passed out boy's face. Just like, oh god, you don't want to have these on your face. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So fill up the wet wipes. <laughs> All right. Your turn. Mm-hmm. So I am Jessica Jones. Corinne Allen Walsh and or Walsh, excuse me. And sorry, so you can firefly there for a second. <laughs> no. So I the um I do not have the connections like you do, and. The, I just, I figured out this shit on my own, and I was actually surprised that I was allowed in on a scholarship because my education is very spotty, but for some reason I'm here, and I'm trying to find more to um, say, to figure out, like, basically knowledge is power sort of shit, mm-hmm. and I, my aspects are <laughs> mud blood who finds things, because that's my the power is so long as I have a connection or an object, like I can have a uh, emotional connection with somebody oh. or an object. With, with the newspaper, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then it also attracts trouble. Like, I swear, I do not go looking for trouble. It, it finds you. me. It has like, like a wanted poster with your face on it. And they never get the nose right. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. No, that's fantastic. <laughs> but it's like, um, it's like when I came to this university, I just wanted to lay low, just want to get my information, get out. I didn't want to be stuck next door to a woman who will bring back God knows what into her apartment. <laughs> but she feeds me, so I allow it. <laughs> and, uh, and when I came here looking just for a little bit of help with an artifact, I didn't expect to be sold a lemon that got me in trouble. <laughs> to be fair. It worked when I still had it. So, <laughs> you know, you the warranty it? ends as soon as it leaves my hand. 
Did you did you even use it, or did you just assume it worked? It doesn't work when I have them. But did you test it? Excuse me. Bless you. If I say yes, will you believe me? No. Maybe. <laughs> The fact that you phrased it like that. <laughs> Devil in a business suit. He's careful with wording. <laughs> Depends if he's got a fake point to spend on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so where we left off, you guys made it to the frat house, you know, the swim team you know, place. Major party scene is going on. In fact, there is an aspect of party scene in play. If you guys could use that. Anyone in the scene could use that, including that guys, by the way. That's a freebie one. After that, you can spend a pay point to use party scene in some good or bad way. Or bad. So you guys were basically, I, I believe, trying to creep upstairs to where you, you were told the captain of the swim team is probably getting uh, some... Uh, I was trying to. He was going. So they, I was, was being carried, carried upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> and and like the first step cold. just... Yeah, just, just completely TKO. <laughs> yeah! yeah. No! And somebody just walks over and puts a beer bottle in his mouth upside down. Which out of instinct of just like... <laughs> <laughs> just like slow, like slow. It's, it's Miskatonic University. Right yeah. it. The biggest satanic, cultist, Cthulhu worshipping party college this side of <laughs> the fourth dimension. Is he breathing? Then he can drink. <laughs> If he's not breathing because he have tentacles, then he can drink. <laughs> Stick one of those in there. I'm pretty sure it'll be a mouth at some point. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys doing? And I told you what I'm doing. So okay, you're nursing, you're, you're, you're nursing all, all the past out Did you at least people. see me just because I was kind of center of attention? It and was now a I'm pretty down. big scene as he's on their back. Well, I mean, if they, they put you down afterwards, then yes, I'm going I'm to. Sure, no. I'm pretty sure put was He like, hit his forehead and then flew off. Oh, okay, so you're on the ground. Uh, He's on the ground. I, with a bottle in my I take the bottle out and I reach in my bag and try and find smelling salts to wake his ass up. Okay. So it sounds like you're doing a uh, action to wake him up, huh? Yeah. So uh, what, what, what are you going to go for? Um, Assumingly not flashy. Doesn't no. sound like you're going to like, flashy. Look! Silver so moon glitter sound effects as you. Kind of, oh, there, there. Are you gonna be careful about this? <coughs> or are you gonna be forceful? Well, no. Why would I be careful? Like he's Wake a up, here it is. <laughs> He's shoving it into my like, nose. Lightly smacking his cheeks and you know. Using Sounds it. like forceful. <laughs> okay, so you're being very, very brutish about it. I am not being brutish about Wait, it. Wait, maybe. I'm like, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> okay, so are you being? Quick, sneaky, careful. Like, careful, else careful. Not there being we go. Careful. So give oh, me. Sh- well, you are. Uh, yeah, that's what it. you're going I for. I did it. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's give right. me a careful roll to, to bring him back to consciousness. Okay. I have lost my dice thing. Oh, no, what dice thing? On the thing. Oh, your dice tray. Oh. I gotta see that. I got all. Here's me. Uh, actually, let me move this because this doesn't have a purpose at the moment. Shit. <laughs> so, so what'd you get there? Negative two? Negative two. <laughs> so immediately you, you like look around and you're trying to smack him awake and you throw him right under his back. Because you you read somewhere that when someone passes out from too much booze, you lay them flat on their back. Cool. Wait, I'm I'm pre like pre- <laughs> I should know better than that. Well you're you trying should. to get the smelling salt. But right now with the distractions going on and the sick girls that should be getting help rather than him, the fact that he apparently must have got himself drunk and passed out ready with this big knot across the forehead. <laughs> I had butted a wall because I was that drunk. <laughs> so what's the crowd doing? The crowd is ignoring him and continuing on with the party. People are hooking up. There's this this very charged, primal, almost on the verge of orgy feel. Of oh, this party. Jesus. It's almost like the, the, the fog machine that's in there is pumping out more than just fog. Oh, and I'm laying in this. Oh, and yes. whatever yes, else is on this floor. Old one thing. Old, <laughs> old one goo. No! no! I have to burn everything on me. So, nobody's going upstairs? Uh, there's a couple people partnering up and going up and downstairs. You know, are you going to try to sneak up there? I am. Well, there was a party yeah. heading upstairs, so. Yeah, yeah. 
So go ahead and give me a sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. That is a three. Uh, so what's your total? Three. Three. So that that is a good success. And you were blending in with the crowd. You're kind of like, you know, one of the big guys, you know, one of the swimmers is there. You kind of like get up right behind him. You kind of conga dance with them up the stairs. But you manage to pull your stuff away before the people start pairing up and going into different rooms and stuff. So you're immediately there and you kind of like do that whole Scooby Squad, look around. Until you see at the far end of the hallway is a door that's got a little life preserver in it. And the little life preserver says, Captain of the swim team. Captain, my captain. Okay, so, yeah. so, so you're basically, you know, trying to nonchalantly go to the door without drawing anybody's attention, and pretty much people are ignoring you as, as you're going up there. Is there a solo cup nearby? Or like, just there's like, cups and garbage everywhere. I pick up one of the, you know, hopefully it has like just a little bit in there. Okay, sure. You, you say so you, you look around and you're like, pour one, broken cup, contents into a cup, so it looks like you got some yellow. We don't know what it is, <clears throat> but it's yellow. Oh, I sniff it because I really need it. It's, it's probably got enough alcohol content that you're safe whatever yellow is. Okay. I just basically want to make sure I wasn't holding around urine. Nope, <laughs> you do not believe it is urine unless okay. someone is drinking a lot of pineapple juice. Uh, so, yeah, I basically, uh, plan is go into that room and for Try to sneak around, but if I get caught, mm. my thing is I'm just drunk. And okay. I'm just trying to, like, look for the bathroom or something like that. I'm just stumbling around. Okay, so you get your, your little fade on, you know, that little, that little ah thing where you get the eyes. As soon as you try the doorknob, the doorknob is locked. And then you kind of look down and realize there's a sock on the floor. <clears throat> you think it might be the universal sock code? Multi-dimensional. The old ones would put a sock on their door. <laughs> <laughs> or they'd skin a human to put the skin suit on. Well, that's what they call socks. They, yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do with the door being locked? God, who knows how fucking long it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Shit. Could wait for him to finish. He might be done in two minutes, <clears throat> but he might fall. But he might fall asleep, or he might be a swimmer. He's got stamina and lung capacity. Yeah, but he's drunk. Or is he? Oh, okay, true, true, guys. Mm -hmm. What's the lock like? Really simple lock. I mean, you, if you if you're gonna try to pick it, it would not be difficult for you to pick it. I mean, you would just need a fair plus two to pick it it's it's not like it's lock lock it's just one of those indoor locks meant to slow someone down like you know one turn all right yeah. i'm gonna give that a shot so are you gonna gonna pick it what about the old bobby pin to use that or kick it i will try to pick it because okay. hopefully it can still do the uh the stealth thing okay yeah. so you whip out the bobby pin yep I'm not a thief. I saw one on TV. Um, so what'd you get? Obviously something bad. <laughs> From okay. the fuck I heard. Um, <laughs> what was the... Um, I just needed a fair. Plus two. Oh well, yeah, but was it using clever or sneaky? I'm assuming sneaky because you want to do it quietly, right? True, true. Um, that would be a zero. It would be a zero. Yeah. So uh, did you want to use an aspect that could be helpful here? For a re-roll or a plus two, which would be good enough for a bear. Do you, would you allow me to use mud blood who finds things? I didn't even let you use party scene for the loud noise of the party going. Okay, no. yeah. Let's just say the Kick that Okay, pin. so you're using the party scene aspect on the table, burning that free aspect up because the, the loud party scene gives you plus two, so you make your pair. You kinda like are looking around because the first attempt fade, failed, but then also the music got louder. And you just like click, yeah, and the I, door I stop trying to be sneaky. I'm just like, <laughs> and, and the door makes a hint of a squeaky sound, but you stop really quick and just opens out. <laughs> and, and then zip inside the room and kind of close the door behind you. Do you relock it? No. 
Oh, okay, so you close the door, and immediately the party scene is muted behind you, and you're hearing two people in the throngs of, of something. Which you <laughs> hope is debauchery. We, uh, just, is Darth here, I take it? Uh, it? It's basically, the way it's set up is, in the room there's a common area where the door is, and then it breaks off to two side dorm rooms. Because, uh, of course, frat house, they have slightly better than normal. So what you see in the middle room here is basically the common area where it looks like probably two roommates have basically trashed the place because there are pizza boxes and beer cans everywhere. We're talking like knee-high pile of beer cans in some spots. Oh, but there is a safe walking path. Okay. Especially if you're willing to walk in the uh, rowboat, you know, those big long rowboats that, that goes across the room. Because they got to practice, right? They also are the part of the road team. Yeah, of course they are. That makes sense. Actually, they, it literally does make sense. Crap for you. Um, so, but is it dark? In here? It, it is pitch black. Okay. As you're hearing silence from over here, but a couple is getting busy over in this room. Lots of slurpy kissy sounds. I'm going to turn on my flashlight, but away from them, and basically, like, I want just a little bit of room, because I want to see if the door's open. The door's definitely cracked open. Okay, so I'm going to, best as I can, like I'm hoping that they're distracted enough and I'm careful enough that I can move the light around and see if I can find the trophy thing that we're looking for. Okay, go ahead and give me a clever or sneaky, one of those two. I'm going to be clever. Okay, you want to be clever again. One. Apparently, that that jade set is giving you the same negative effect both times. Maybe it's new dice. Change, change, it's change dice. dice. Change All dice. Right. So you are you're <laughs> scanning the room, and immediately you like, oh! and then all of a sudden you cast your flashlight. What you thought was the the trophy ends up being this little teeny tiny trophy that says "World's Best Swimmer, First Grade Swim Champion." Blah blah blah. It looks like a little good luck trophy. <laughs> Tough. And you're just like, because uh. for a second with the shadow play, it looked like the chalice on the Neptune's cup. But then all of a sudden, you're immediately when you get the light right on, you're like, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. So you're looking around, you're seeing a bunch of cups and things, and not the not what you're not the trophy you're looking for. Okay. I know it is probably going to be in the room with the two fucking, but I will check the quiet room first. Due diligence and pray that it actually is there. Okay, so you you, you sneak into that room. Give, give me a sneaky roll because you're sneaking. Immediately when you open the door, you are hit by the smell of dirty socks. And I don't think any of your guys like me. <laughs> What'd so, you get? I uh zero. Zero. So you like <laughs> step. And as soon as you cough back the dirty socks smell, you step back and you found a can castle of beers. Now we're talking a really nice can castle. Somebody who's spending time building. This thing is like the wall of China of can castles. <laughs> and immediately it starts crashing down. Oh, and, whoa. And making some loud noise. As all of a sudden you, you're hearing the, the, the sexy sounds stop abruptly. And you just hear, Bruno, is that you? Um. Yeah. Well, well, keep it down. We're we're getting busy in here. I put the sock on the door. Sorry. <laughs> just 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 be quiet and don't kill the birds. Yeah. You you can't have the trophy. We're it, it's 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 incommunicado. What? Incommunicado. It means it's busy. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> you're not doing what I think you're doing. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh. oh. <laughs> and tell anybody else that asked to drink out of the trophy, it's incommunicado. <laughs> and, and then slowly they start getting back in the rhythm that you were hearing earlier. Oh, and it no. doesn't sound like sex. It sounds like you know fooling around, but not sex. God. It's a lot more kissy, slurpy sounding than, than, than that. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm going out. I can't. <laughs> okay. I just, um, I'm going to go find them. Okay. 
are you, are you I'm awake? still trying to wake his ass up. So go ahead and give me a sneak roll as you're sneaking back downstairs. Are you sure you want that set? You got seven sets on the table of fate dice. Are you sure that's the set you want? I'm going to try it again. You're going to have faith in the shiny Azur. <laughs> oh my god. Three negatives and a plus. The new dice are cursed. Yep. So what'd you get? With a sneaky, that was a negative one. Negative one. So you're, you're, you're like, you know what? Screw this. I am done. I'm going to be with the group. This yeah. is what they're there for. He can talk the pants off anyone. He can talk the trophy out of who knows who. Yeah, that's basically what I was thinking, too. It's like, they know that I'm here now, so as long as I don't, like, actually talk, I'd be like, bye! And, and, and you set yourself. I'm heading downstairs. Immediately, door flies open next to you, and this blonde bombshell pounces on you, gives you a kiss on the cheek, and says, come on in with us. And she's kind of, like, gesturing, let's go into the puppy pile that's going on in the, the, the room. She's not forcing you, but but she's like pulling you in, like, Puffy hey! The, in this room still? No, no, this is down the hallway. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They um, basically heard someone there, and they've been having a party game of grab the person you hear at the doorway and invite them in the room. I gotta use the restroom, I'll be back. Then, okay. And then I just pull away. And, and as you pull away, you kind of catch a whiff of something. Oh, God, what is it? Yeah, go ahead and give me a. Like no, no, it's not skunk. Give me a careful. They or have a long since sport. graduated past. <laughs> <laughs> We're smoking the essence of man. <laughs> this guy's name was Jerry. Three, three. So immediately you get this whiff of some incense that 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 it's it's kind of like chill incense. It's, it's it's nice. It's inviting. But you're like, I'm on a mission. Screw you. You immediately brush off the effects of this, this, this social awesome, anxiety. Awesome, that, that could be what pulled you out of it, was the social yeah. anxiety, because all of a sudden this almost narcotic incense is, was, was pulling you in to the little love shack. Love shack. Mm-hmm. So, so you come down, and these two, she is on him going, wait! <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I took the <laughs> bottle out of your mouth at the no, just like the, you're hitting me like. Blah, blah, blah. So go ahead and give me another careful or forceful to wake him up. Yeah, we'll use forceful. I'm like conscious. I try to be careful. <laughs> like smash, smash, smash. So now I'm like I'm a I'm a unicorn. Okay, this is bridge. much better. All right. And somebody hands you a beer bottle to wake him up. Three. Up. So you smack him and immediately he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. No, I swear I have your money. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately you snap to attention. She she got you away from no problem. She's straddling on top of you. There's this awkward moment. <laughs> your head hurts. Did you roofie me? No! I get off. Oh, wait, close her on. <laughs> and, and there's an audience. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, there's an audience. It's not that I, kind of party. And it's immediately some friend was like, dude, you should put some ice on that and hands you a fresh Zima. <laughs> Zima. Swig. <laughs> I'm going like, to like, no. What? I'm going to grab. No. No. What? no. Ice on no. what? What? No. It's cold no. already. Put it. I, I move his hand to put it in oh, his ow, head. Ow. 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 Yeah, you cracked your head uh, as as you're you were right. pretty much at that point. You're coming down the stairs. Oh, what happened? They carried you up and you biffed it on the top of the ceiling. No, <laughs> I had a chance. <laughs> yeah, so did I, but I couldn't. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> there, I got into the room where it is. I'm using it for sex. Wait, what did what? you say? Um, like, you said a word that sounded like incognito, but I don't think that was it. Incommunicado? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, we're going to want gloves. Incommunicado? Oh. <laughs> what is incommunicado? Oh. Ew. Does anyone, do you have gloves? She's got a t-shirt. I, <laughs> no, I probably have latex gloves in my bag. So I give you some latex gloves. What room? As all of a sudden, bro, dude, I've got some condoms. It's cool. You don't have to use gloves. 
that doesn't work. <laughs> and like immediately somebody runs over to a spear sign, pops the lid, pulls out a couple of, you know, condoms, and the guy just like bro slaps it in your hand. He's like, dude, cherry flavor. <laughs> I do pot these too. <laughs> I guess. Take the gloves too. You never know, man. You know how some of these people are. A little. Yeah. 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 Put room. Move. Now. I am pulling you away from them. Uh, I okay. follow. Second story. I am immediately not wanting to be in this party anymore, and that is really saving for me. <laughs> wow. Okay, second story. Oh. Do I look like a unicorn or an oni? <laughs> you look like an idiot. Now listen. <laughs> second story. <laughs> Second floor, and the last the one in the on the hallway it says Captain's room. Uh, he is in the say, left hand say one, and say he is currently getting busy with a woman. So like if you could do your charm thing and like. Just, well, is there a sock on the door? Did you just walk in on that? <laughs> I did not just walk in. I picked the lock. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> and you say I'm a bad influence. <laughs> No, we will have to talk about that. I never said you were an influence. I'm actually proud of you. That's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Let, no. Big bad thing in focus. the library. Let's focus. Let's, let's, I don't want to be responsible for big bad thing in the library. Let's let's do this. Let's do this quickly. Okay. And all of a sudden there's a flashback to her the holding her hands up in the portal and there's little things moving and it's like how long does it take to go get me a cup, some fur, and some chalk? <laughs> Bitch, you do not know. <laughs> we immediately come back to us, it's like, oh, I need more ice. Let's, <laughs> let's go, let's go. As all of a sudden she looks across the library and there's like, <coughs> Tasmanian tiger, pile of chalk, and a cup, right? No, it had to be a lot. <laughs> 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 And like a cup, but it's nondescript cup. And like, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> like, should I give it the college try? <laughs> I'm already here. It's the worst thing could happen. So you guys, you know, you're heading up there. Are you, are you trying to be all sly, all super flashy and sexy going up there? I actually just take her hand and walk up with her there. Okay. Oh, Let watch, the context read. read watch out it. for the third room from the third room and on the left. They're going to try to pull you in. So oh, we're not solo, so we're looking for a place, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Whoa. Just follow my lead. They already think something's happening. Yeah, so right. I, I just take her, and I go upstairs with her. Wait, wait, one last thing. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, are you going to join in at this? If not, you grab her hand and come Shut on. Shut up. Damn it. I'm getting really uncomfortable here, like, more than usual. I'm going to go stand outside underneath the window. If things go south, just chuck it out the window. I will grab it, and we will run, Okay. Got it. Which window? Which side building? Either one. I'll, I'll go back and forth between them. <laughs> okay. I'll yell out the window before I toss. I'll just say heads up and then... There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Come on. Let's I, go I, upstairs. I <laughs> As they say loudly enough, hey, let's find a room. And I, okay. And I All right. Room. Okay. So I you just guys follow are, your head. <laughs> you guys are heading upstairs and, you know, a couple people passing by and they're like... But the drunk like, girls yeah. need me. Yeah. <laughs> And to her, they're like, this one, here one, this one. As you guys go up to the second floor, you see, you know, of course, the hallway's lined with doors. And obviously, at the end of the the hallway is the captain's room. Man, look at all these socks. I don't think any of them have ever been washed. Did you relock the door, by the way, or did you just leave them? I just left. Okay. Oh, God, is the door open? I shut it. I don't know if I, like, latched it. So it's closed-ish. Yeah. If um, you see anyone open these doors, just grab my arm and say we're trying to find a room. So, okay. Okay. Just okay. Roll with the lie. We're good. Okay. With roll with the lie. Okay. Okay. So you know, of course, you guys are walking quietly. You're walking quietly. You're trying to look nonchalant. Yeah. Is just as you're about to touch the doorknob, one of the doors come flying open uh-huh. right next to you. What do you do? I just stand there as if I'm like open the door, like whoa, hey. I'm gonna grab him and kiss him. Give me, a fl- give me a flashy. That sounds flashy. <laughs> or clever. I'll take that. I'm from the place clever. like, like okay. deer in the headlights. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> one. A one. So, so the, the couple that's there, they kind of like look at you. <laughs> and, they're like, 
Thanks, bro. And they take your drink from you and close the door. Like, not even like, I just, like... Alright, and then I stop and like, okay, she's got a sucking face on you and they're just like slowly pulling the drink out of your hand and closing the door. I'm really, con- I'm so confused. Like, she's like, you drink? You? Door? Yeah. As soon as the door is closed, I go, alright, let's continue. You can almost see like the loading bars just appear over you like, what? This is the circle that just like... So one of you guys give me a sneak. You can decide who's got mm. the better sneak. I got a plus three. You have a plus three? You do okay. it. Okay. She is a champ when it comes to sneak. Oh, I got I got five. So five. Ooh, you God. basically open the door and there is no sound. Somehow, magically, you're <laughs> muting the sound from outside the room as you open the door. Just and you're that pointing creepy him. horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> door open. Hey, I am Just... a changeling with the devil's luck. Yeah. And you're guiding him in the room to avoid all of the piles because you see this yeah. huge now, crash. I, now I think I look confused because I still have that like didn't have like like what the hell just happened? Oh, you know what she was macking on. Yeah, and it's like out of nowhere I'm like, whoa, this was supposed to be an act, but if you want to do this, I'm all cool for that. You know, if we're gonna die, I might as well go on happy. Yeah, college bro back. I'm enjoying the Hell party mouse again. Opening up, get one last one. Right, right. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm enjoying the party again. Let's do this. <laughs> so since you're guiding him into the room, what specifically are you looking for? Well, so she has basically made it into the little common room. Well, she said that it was being used uh-huh. in the room. That obviously, noises are coming. Obviously, from. you're hearing some kissy, kissy, slurpy, slurpy sounds. And from what she said, they're using it in whatever the fuck they're doing. And I'm very terrified at this point when I realize. <laughs> The implication of what might be happening. And as you guys are making no noise. I'm basically up getting us up to the door. Where the <laughs> okay, so, right. so who's going to peek in there? Not me. I don't want to okay, peek so, anything. So you want to peek in there? Give, give me a clever or I'm gonna, I'm careful. Gonna, I'm going to peek in there. I'm going to use my clever. So or sneaky. No, I'm going to use my clever. That's a, that's a plus three. Okay. You're being super clever. You're like looking for something in the mirror that's in the room. Oh, no. Damn. So that negates it. So I'm, at, two. I'm a two. You're at a two? Yeah. So you think you're being super club clever as you're looking in there and you see an immaculately clean room. This this is day and night compared to the room you're standing currently. I, I probably is, double take like, did I just step through another, did this, I do the pocket door thing again? This room is anally spotless. Obviously, the captain must use his probies to clean his room or something, or he's got some major OCDs. And you look in this room where it's just filled with trophies. Looks like high school trophies, elementary school trophies. There's a couple, you know, national tournament trophies. Looks like, you know, oh, I remember that one. A little, little bunch of pictures with the Olympiads, you know, with a little kid getting pictures with each of them. So you're seeing this guy's in my room to be a, a, a Olympiad champion swimmer. And you, your eyes finally My rest fault. on the, <laughs> pretty much, including the two of them smoking doobies together. Yeah. Also, as, Michael Phelps. As your eye focuses on the bed, you're looking at the foot of the bed towards the head. So the bed's basically the feet of the bed is looking at you. And you're seeing the captain of the team's got his hands grabbing the headboard. And he's apparently being taken care of by someone under the blankets right now. And there's a very, you know, Adventurous form now doing this, their thing. Yeah, I want to say something, but I'm more yeah. like, <laughs> "Well done, sir." As someone under the blanket in the comforter is just going to town on him. Yeah, you're seeing much motion going. On. And Damn, I'm almost, I'm jealous. I am looking for the trophy. Like, I'm like, I'm unfortunately, like, you did not spot the trophy. You might want to like sneak in closer, maybe, or. Or see if your compatriot can spot the trophy. Do you see the trophy on my dick? Oh, yeah. As you do the What scoop. do I use? So I will take either a careful, clever, or sneaky. I will do sneaky. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. Oh. Six. Six. Oh. So literally. See, like, you go on the bed and just. <laughs> you get. Your head just pops <laughs> silently out of your head. <laughs> And you are you, and you like sneak in. You take a couple steps in there, and you literally start wearing a little bit of Carmen San Diego case in the I I immediately and, think the the nun from like the Blues Brothers. She just floats in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How? And she's like 
popping up in different <laughs> locations, checking quietly. I mean, come on, because this is a fantastic <laughs> roll. I, you, you are literally, every time they, that he starts to roll his eyes and looks at looks the direction, you happen to be there. <laughs> hey, you know, you, you've seen more than enough Animal Planet episodes to work around wild animals in nature. And now I'm thinking of, like, Jim Carrey, Ace Ventura, just <laughs> under the table. Is up again. And you're realizing after a few minutes of casing this place, the trophy is not here, but you did find the little placard that you saw in the newspaper article of Neptune's Cup. Okay. That said, you know, cha- champion high school, blah, 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 blah. And it's the placard. <laughs> you know for sure that that is the placard that was on the trophy. So someone took it off. It looks like it was just hot glued on. Huh. But you like pick up the little placard and you look at it. Well, I'm gonna take it in my pocket. Okay. Um, I'm thinking. I have what no idea what I'm seeing. What did she say about what? I mean, could we just paste that into a cup that it could be? <laughs> she said what were she the specific words? A god's chalice. Well, I mean, with the placard, anything you put it on would become a god's chalice, right? Wait, wait, wait. You could wait, try. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, wait, wait, wait. Loose enough wording, and if someone's worshipped enough, <laughs> it could be. We could technically, since he is like the captain, couldn't we theoretically take one of his cups since he's already praised to you like a god? Loose enough? <laughs> I still have no idea what she did. Like, I'm, my business no. manager's coming up just like... Because I'm going to take that. She didn't that. say I'm a like, specific god. As, as you, like, open an old pizza box, sniff the pizza. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, like, in awe of this, and I'm now eating, like, what I'm <laughs> watching. I'm like, I have no now, idea how you're doing just this. Just because she's saying, oh, god, oh, god, oh, god, does not necessarily mean that she thinks of him as a deity. Good. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because I've looked up, the only other place it could be is under there, and I'm sorry. And whatever the hell. I'm no, I don't even want to see what the fuck's going on under there, close up. As all of a sudden, from the corner of your eye, you're thinking at one point, is that a tentacle that just came out of the blanket? Oh, no. If, if I thought that, then my ass is out of this room. So I, I continue my sneak out of the room. I, I grab him and slowly pull him away. I immediately... And he's like, this is champion this is, <laughs> No, man, you can't not watch this. I'm well, okay, you here. cannot want to watch this, but I got, I'm taking notes. There, I think there might have been a tentacle, and I really don't want to see what's under that sheet. I kind of do that, <laughs> honestly. It's Miscatonic University. Oh, and you, we've seen where it's I know, I know, that Raven but Animal not House, in that man. context do I want to see tentacles. <laughs> I do have an idea. It is a risky I show idea. Him, I show him what I got. You're like, oh my god. Damn. Well, maybe I do have an idea. Good at finding things. You I, I, I do have an idea, though, of how to clear the frat house very quickly. I could light something on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it with fire. <laughs> or I could just pull the fire alarm and scream, "Oh shit, it's on fire!" And then like you run think out. This like... frat house is a fire alarm. <laughs> So we may have to. Do you have actually, anything like on your person that could make smoke? I have a lot of things on my person that can make smoke. However, my state afterwards would be far too unable to help you. <laughs> so you, you're pulling him out of the room and mm-hmm. quietly. I do have a light. I do him. have yeah. a lighter that can light anything on fire, even things that shouldn't make sense. Like I can light water on fire. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> It's, it's only a gimmick because the worst thing is it can't technically burn anything. It's just on fire. So lighting cigarettes sucks because the cigarette's on fire, but it's not burning. It sucks. You can light yourself fire like, ooh, I'm on fire. Oh, no. And then you really can't put it out because you don't know how. It's not physically How, how do you turn it off? You, it, that's just it. Like, I still haven't figured it out. I've ruined okay, it. Okay, because I was Like, there's just a like... tree in the woods that's still on fire, but it's not burning. He's like, my sister's cat. Yeah, like, my <laughs> sister's cat is still on fire. At this point, we just, like, we're just like, okay, cool. We can bathe you. It doesn't make any sense. But... The cat just goes, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, you, you, you see at his childhood house, there's a light window, and then the camera focuses in, it's really flaming cats. Yeah. Sitting, <laughs> sitting there. My first concept, like, it'll light anything on fire, but it doesn't 
burn anything. He's got issues. I've got a little bit of pyromancy. Okay, Dad not that. A lot of so, so you're pulling him out of the room, and you're closing the door slightly. Oh, come on. Yeah. You. You've got to admit, this would be amazing. Tentacles and fire. No, but you don't know anything about don't know. Come on. She's just saying, she... leave the room tentacles. Wait. Well, a, 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 this is after I close the door that I'm telling you. Okay. Them. Search the common room. Okay. Search the common room. Because okay. we did. We just went into his room assuming he put it in there. If he was using it, he might have left it elsewhere. Well, neither one of these two think it's the <laughs> common room. Yeah. And it's, she did find the placard in the what in are his the, room. What are the chances of it being sentient? Do you think he's having sex with the trophy? College. Is a phrase I never thought I'd have to say. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> college! Things happen in college. <laughs> Damn it, There's a lot of things. <laughs> like, I really like the first I thing I immediately thought is like, man, this is a really, <laughs> really expressive college. <laughs> Damn you, college! <laughs> <laughs> um, I go to the window and I see she's stuff. down there. Okay, so you're popping into somebody else's room? No, no she the, just common the common area. Room, the common area oh, okay, so you're going back in the yeah, like, room? Like, well, that's where, no, I, we left his room, closed the door, there is the common backed room. up, we're in oh, the common I, room. I thought you were back in the hallway before. No, no, no not yet. Okay. <laughs> so we closed his we need, door. We closed his somehow door. Somehow she, like, okay. somehow she did that, that silent she movie closed door. Oh, how did you do that, by the way? Like, all of that. I don't know what you're talking about. I look for a window. I literally I'm say that, and I turn away from it like that. Especially thing. since you look at him like, shh. <laughs> yes. Like, immediately your hand goes over his yeah. So you go to a window, and you, it takes a second that you see you're kind of walking between the bushes, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. And all of a sudden, you're like, what the hell is in these bushes? I don't want to know. <laughs> Oh, At one point, you walked by, and you heard rain fall, and then a window closed. Oh. oh. Maybe it was somebody pouring a drink out there. Yeah, I doubt it. Dick! How hard is the wind? I mean, is it locked? You, you, you think it should be fairly easy to open? I like a little okay. tiny bit. And I open up and I kind of wave, wave my... She waves a hand out there as a bit of curtain flaps out with it. And then I drop the, the placard at her. Okay, go ahead and give me a quick, uh, clever, flashy, quick... Quick. Here goes quick. I like that. Quick, totally perfect to snatch it out of the air. So, um, one. One. So she drops it, <laughs> and, and you kind of like snatch at it, but it, it's tiny and it's like fluttering in the darkness, and you're out there in the dark. And, oh, no. And all of a sudden, you hear this clink clink as it falls in behind the bush. And you like, it takes you a second to like move the beer cans and the bottles and not cut yourself when you broke the glass okay. and pick. The, the the placard up. It's a little placard about uh, so, like twice the size of a driver's license. Has the, the world's best high school swim team. High school. <coughs> I mean college. Sorry. Okay. That'll be like World best high school swim. Then team. you flip it right. over and realize, oh, they have college on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he did it. The placard was <laughs> engraved twice. Cheap bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so so you have this little placard. Okay. So are you doing anything after you threw it out the window? I'm closing the wall. I'm looking at her expectantly. Okay, so all of a sudden her head pops out looking down at you. I just sit on the the common room couch just like... Go ahead and give me a sneaky. As he's bravely sitting down on the couch thinking it's not full of who knows what. Oh, I'm looking at it first, but I'm just like... Oh, we are. So you've got the placard. So I'm going to try to use my power to see if I can search the rest of the cup. I have a two. A two? Hey, I good. had a literally like plus minus plus minus. That, that seems to be good enough. Other than the small leather squeak, you think you were pretty quiet about it. So go ahead and spend the fake point. Use your power as you're going to use your little psychometry tracky power. Yep. Okay. Fine. So uh, you're going to go with uh, a little stunt here. Use your mojo. Yep. Okay. It's a plus two. Careful. Okay. So you're like da 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 da. I'm so happy for that plus two. Uh, wow. That is a four total. Four total, which is a great result because immediately you are are doing your little trick that will tell you the direction it's in, and you're feeling a pull, 
that's leading you to the university exit off campus. And then all of a sudden, because you had a great, I will even give you a flash of all of a sudden you get a psychic flash of you see when you're holding the placard in your hand, you kind of start fidgeting with it. And immediately you focus on the empty spot of the trophy where the placard is normally glued. And you see this empty spot of the placard and the camera kind of pans out and you see the trophy sitting there in all of its beauty. All of a sudden, as the camera pans back, you see a giant set of golf clubs leaning against it. And it looks like a little tray full of wedding rings of assorted colors and sizes. And all of a sudden, you see a football helmet of the Miskatonic University goat heads. We'll say it's the football team. Of course it is. Ah, oh, that is awesome. As it looks like a little goat demon man pan hybrid on the side of the thing. Like pan, but super bulked out pan. Tiny and, little goat leg. And slowly as the camera pans out and you see that, you notice hanging from the helmet is Borelli's pawn. That son of a bitch. Which is the local pawn shop that you know students use all the time in between getting money from mom and dad. How do you think he threw the money to get the... God damn it. You guys don't know this, but you hear me that just go, fuck! Which is loud enough to come up and through the window. Well, I got my head sticking out looking at her, so I... At this point, I'm saying, okay, shit. Close the window, grab him, and we leave. Wait, wait, okay. wait, crap all over the floor. <laughs> And I'm going to dishevel my hair and my clothes and dishevel his hair and his clothes and pull ah, ah, the ah, out of the ah, room. <laughs> okay, so as you know, give me a sneak or a clever if you guys are heading out of the hall. Uh, sneaky. Sneaky? Okay, because you're pulling them all quietly. I, yes. I, I, I got join a in four. on this. You got a four. No, wait, no, no, no you got a four. You, you don't good. need to worry about it. She's yeah. got this covered with her great roll of four. She, she grabs you gags you as you start to say something to help and pulls you down the hallway quietly looking like you two were two lovebirds heading off to go make out in the grass or something. Whoa, okay. Uh. As a bunch of the ladies like look at you really interested. <laughs> she's dragging you off like, oh, this got a secret. You gotta find out that secret. <laughs> Guys are just like, why don't you? <laughs> I'm keeping the clothes up. Like I said, you never know in this one. <laughs> So you guys are heading around the back of the frat house, you know, mm -hmm. to get together. She's like still fidgeting with it, and she's like, like wafting in the air, and it's pulling in the right direction. Fixing yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's up? Are you two making out? No. As kind you guys of. Come out looking Shh. disheveled to make out. <laughs> like how did I say? Kind of. <laughs> I still don't know what happened. Also, uh, go cap. Anyway. <laughs> Your, your picture you drew looks fantastic. It looks like she's got a little red lipstick on, does she? <laughs> oh, come on, yeah. It's like so you I'm did here. match with him, so he so does like, it as a cover. Kind of. I don't know what we, happened. Yeah, because people were coming out of the room. He and I my told, Zima. You know, <laughs> that they were, and he told us that people were grabbing people, so I tried to make sure that we were busy so they couldn't grab us. So you covered by covering his lips? Yes. With yours. <laughs> It made sense at the moment. <laughs> oh, don't don't let the appearance fool you. I didn't get anything. Oh, like the <laughs> captain. My captain. So what's up? Why Anyways, you, why, let's go. Why do you look okay, at the so, What so happened? Be because it's at the pawn shop. What? God damn it. I, I should have thought of that. I go there all the time. Not with my stuff, though. Let's go. Come on. I know the way. All right, we go. Shh, it's okay. closed right now. And? Has... How's that stopped you? <laughs> you have a good point. Let's go. Yeah, speaking of which, since you've been there so much, do you know the security system? If he's still there, it's double barrel. If he's not, it's his guard dog who don't really see or hear too much. Puppy. He's old. I don't care. Puppy. I'm pretty sure he's just like a hellhound with like normal dog skin on it, but he's it's old. It's still a puppy. Let's go. Trust me, the, the noises I've heard from her room, she can handle a hell now. Well, what she did to me, I'm kind of worried about what noises you're hearing. Let's go. <laughs> I I jab you. <laughs> oh, oh. Let's go. I smack no, him no. on the forehead. What? No! Ow! Oh, oh, oh. No! I mean, you didn't see what she did in the captain's room. Doesn't matter. You don't say that. 
<laughs> what? No! Oh, you're both horrible! <laughs> Look! Daphne's probably so, freaking out right now. Let's go! So does we one of you have a vehicle, or are you guys likely to steal the campus bikes that are there? The ghostly white painted bikes that are meant to be oh, borrowed and used on campus? No. I am not touching these things, only because they look goofy as all hell, and I look so stupid riding these things. <laughs> You look stupid work. right now. Get on. Oh, <laughs> fine, okay. but I'm not riding the candle. Look well, <laughs> stupid. The bell makes me feel weird. <laughs> so you guys jump on some bicycles, basically the, the really horrible beach cruiser style bicycles, uh, which explains why they were donated. And you guys are bicycling this off This is campus. destroying cool points as I ride this. <laughs> I can feel lamer as I ride this. <laughs> you guys go zipping off as the three of you. I think it's sucking the alcohol out of my body. You're getting this whole, you know, lean on me moment as you're zipping off. Oh god, the music probably can't you know, like, I swear to god, you guys hear that, right? No. No? It can't just be me, no. Oh, you, sorry, sorry, my phone. <laughs> you, you ominously go past the security guard's little kiosk at the entrance of the university. It's like, is that ketchup that got spilled on the window? Or could that be blood? There's always these weird little things in Miskatonic University. You're not quite sure. Maybe the security guard's dead. Or maybe he's you know, still ketchup. We'll put a pin in that and come back to that later. <laughs> I, just keep going. Personal reference, I'd rather not deal with security this late at night. Let's just keep going. Yeah, let's just go. Okay? We're gonna go. So you guys basically, you know, could oh, I love this place. They do amazing burgers. As you go by, it's a chicken and waffles place. And then Berenelli's. Mm-hmm. Oddly enough, Italian for Friday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you go in there, and you see the sign that basically says, you know, 23-hour pond. It's closed between 11 and 12. And what time is it? it it's, what time is it? I think it's like 11.15. That's why I'm mean, <laughs> jumping. It's closed right now. Is it? Good. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. We're sorry, but I actually just tried the door, like, to push the door. The open. door seems to be securely locked with, like, five or six deadbolts and possibly Damn. some chains. He's probably sleeping. He's probably sleeping right now. We can either wait till midnight, which is, seems like a bad idea, because that never works out here, or we can break in. Where does he sleep? I don't know. Last time I broke probably in, he was, at, he was at his desk with the gun aiming at the door. Hmm. Which door did you break in? The back door, so we would see him here. Don't you see him here. You guys <laughs> run to the back door and look yeah. inside the little security yeah. wire window, and... You just see piles of stuff. Because, of course, this is where kids <sighs> haunt everything. It is Friday. Damn it. And they all need beer money, and they'll pay for it on Tuesday when they can get their folks to give them some money. I'm going to try oh, something. Oh, dude, I'm going to try to get that one. <gasps> bang, 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 bang. What, what? You knock on it? Yeah. What, what the? Okay. You, you, you start to hear this ferocious growling sound. Oh, there's your puppy. I get behind you. I'm like, but you don't see anything it. when you look through the window, though. But you hear this ferocious growling sound. Hey, old man, you in there? I have full on doggy treats. <laughs> okay, so my special homemade doggy <laughs> treats. They're organic. <laughs> How organic are these, and what's in them? You don't want to know. Here, puppy. <laughs> you know what? That will leave it at that. <laughs> I thought I heard a meat grinder in your uh, room. <laughs> Oh God! What's she doing with the thing? All right. Um. What's the this door? What's the lock situation on the back door? Looks like a, a regular deadbolt with the, with the lock on the key, and then it's got the little this little emergency box. You know, in case the building on fire, they come out to get the code to open that. Oh, don't look at me. I'm sneaky, but I have no idea how to work these things. Hmm. I guess one of my other aspects is, is I've gotten into some trouble. <laughs> like, oh, I'm bad. I have a minor degree in criminal. <laughs> I could, uh, you so know. you whip out your emergency credit card use it only in case of emergencies? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go is... with a clever, quick, or sneaky. Um, I want to do a clever. Okay. To, to figure out. This As all of a sudden, my diverse music starts. Is that your phone again? Oh, shit. Sorry, I thought I put it on silent. <laughs> <laughs> Who calls you this late at night? You got your business, I've got mine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave that. Fuck me. Um, well, that's a zero. 
Okay, so you like slide your credit card and it does nothing. <laughs> you missed it. He's in charge though. <laughs> so, so, how are one of you guys going to try to get in there? Well, I'm pretty sneaky. I always I'm actually, places. I'm actually pretty clever. Okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to try something weird. Let's have him try first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if the old man remembered to lock the back door. He's been clever. I'm just okay. like, wait, 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 hold up. If, if this works, one of you is giving me a Zima, because those are getting harder <laughs> for me nowadays. Oh, you've never got one of your aspects, yeah. Mm-hmm. I figured she got into some trouble. He was afraid that to no. minor smooth criminal. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Damn it. I also got a zero. Ah! All right. So you you mean like the old man always leaves this window open and you jump on the dumpster and you start to pull the window that's normally open that's just big enough that you would crawl in and as soon as you grab it you realize it's locked and you just like poof into the dumpster. <laughs> so bitch. Ah. I'm pretty sneaky. Let me Thank see if I can find trash the trash. The trash has been taken out already. Oh my man! Oh my ankle! And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.